it's very important to uh, take some thoughts from Ukrainians, especially now, to know what's going on and uh, spread it to the world to see, uh, to, to show everybody the truth and what is, is exactly going on. Back is a metalcore uh, electronic Ukrainian band. Uh, we start our way in uh, 2014, I guess, uh, but it was another band called Along the Edge. Uh, but the original name Alien Callback we took in 2021. Um, in this year we start to take uh, new band members to our uh, band. And uh, we start to make this uh, style of, the, of our uh, sound. Our music is, can be called like a party metal um, because we have this mixture of uh, heavy guitar riffs and we have uh, synthesized uh, sounds from the 80s and 90s and we try to make this balance together with these two kind of uh, sounds and cultures, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I like when we play live to see the people, how they're dancing and get crazy because sometimes we have uh, heavy breakdowns like in metalcore and metal music and sometimes we have uh, this sample sounds like from the disco, from Sings music and it's like toots, 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 like a discotheque <laughs> and uh, yeah it's fun it's really fun uh, I think uh, people like it and we like to feel this energy and to spread this energy and yeah uh, about uh, the style also uh, lyrics of the songs and the mood of the songs are different. 50-50. It can be something funny and with jokes and it can be something serious. Uh, so we try to have this balance in both ways. Uh, about the inspiration, um, especially for me, I'm the big fan of uh, Electric Cowboy, uh, aka Eskimo Cowboy. Uh, I think we have very, very similar style. I like how they also balance with this uh, heavy music and uh, disco music, especially in the new albums. Uh, for another bandmates, I can say that uh, they also listen to different kind of bands. Uh, some some of the band members uh, members are uh, like more. Uh, new metal stuff, something from 2000s, like a band like, I don't know, Korn, Mudwayne, uh, what else it can be, uh, like Limp Bizkit, I don't know, Rammstein, Lip Slipknot, and you know, these uh, things. Um, some of the band members are like more modern uh, metal bands, like Architects, like North Lane, Lorna Shore, and kind of so yeah we we all try to uh, to speak to hear each other and find like the best way to take all the inspiration together and make uh, the best sound for me It's hard, it's really hard because uh, you have problems with uh, light, you have problems with bands, with people because uh, some of them can immediately go with uh, front and fight, you know, and sometimes uh, in the last minute bands can cancel the, the concert 
we have a, a few concerts that were cancelled. But uh, like in general, everything the same. Like you, you, you go, you prepare uh, and, and play. People want to go to the concert. They want to to live like a normal life, like it was before. And especially when you play heavy music. People want to take out their anger somewhere, you know, and uh, when they go to the concert they like, get crazy because you, you have a lot of aggression, especially now, for everything that is going on and it's like a good way to, you know, split it <laughs> uh, on the concert. So. Yeah, I, I think uh, now it's harder, but anyway, we are not stopping. It's very important song for us, because uh, it's about the situation that's going on right now, about war, about everything that's uh, around us, uh, but uh, uh, this song uh, have a very very huge background because uh, it's an old song, uh, the lyrics for this song was written around maybe 8 years or, or 9 years ago uh, when the, uh, this uh, Russian aggression started in 2014 so it, the lyrics was written by the guy who uh, lived in this area in Ukraine uh, in this south area where like this conflict began to start and he he, won, he was like one of the first who feel all this pain and anger and everything he tried to write it down on the on the list. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's song with uh, a lot of meanings for, for us, for the band, and uh, I hope for the rest who listen to it. So uh, we played many times. In live concert but we never recorded it so and now it was the time because now or never uh, so we, we recorded it and uh, show to the world to the people because we can we want to express ourselves like that and say that uh, everything that's going on is crazy and it shouldn't be like that and people shouldn't die and uh, we believe that in future for sure uh, like there will be light and uh, uh, we, we will have a victory so everything will be fine It's hard to say without the current situation, um, yeah, but I, I can't yeah, dream about it or think about Actually we have a, good, a, a lot of good Ukrainian bands and a lot of good Ukrainian uh, musicians. And I hope that in the future uh, they will become more and more popular. Uh, before the war and before the COVID, there was a lot of festivals in Ukraine and abroad Ukraine, and a lot of Ukrainian bands and names uh, that were on the posters. So it's really great. I think we have potential and we have a, a great talented people. So in the future, I hope that everything will be fine and uh, there will be more and more good festivals and
more good, good music, etc. Music <laughs> for sure, there will be more singles, there will be more albums, and not more, it will be like first album actually. But yeah, we're working on it even in the current situation. We try to do our best, we record uh, every, every day, every time something new, and uh, we try to, to make more uh, good and quality music. So, uh, but like in general, I hope that we will go and tour. Uh, for sure, it's a dream of me and uh, all of the band. Uh, we will start with uh, Ukraine and then to, we will go to other countries. I, I hope we will have a European tour and maybe a USA tour. Who knows? Yeah, but um, in general, nothing new. Like uh, more music, more video clips, more content, um, good songs, and more breakdowns. <laughs> uh, my goal and dream is to be popular in Ukraine. I mean, in this, uh, uh, start from this underground uh, community and maybe to grow a little bit up and up. So, yeah, I think we can do that, we got potential and for sure we can uh, play at some festivals, uh, you know, some, maybe we can support some great bands, you know, we'll see.